Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using dot paper to look at the area, perimeter, and ratios of certain shapes. For example, we're going to start off with a square. I'm going to draw a square that's one by one by one. Each side is one unit long. What I'm going to do is I'm going to enlarge this square by a ratio of three to one. Now, when I enlarge the square by a ratio of 3 to 1, that means I'm enlarging each of the sides by a ratio of 3 to 1. So, that means that the left side is going to be 3 units long, the top will be 3 units long, and the side will be 3 units long, and the bottom will be 3 units long. That means that the area now is going to change. The perimeter is also going to change. So we've established our ratio of 3 to 1 for each of the sides. Right now, let's take a look at what happens to the area and the perimeter of each of these shapes. The area of this one is pretty easy to figure out. The perimeter is 1, 2, 3, 4. Four units. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the perimeter and the area of the larger circle and let's see what happens. The larger circle has a perimeter three, six, nine, twelve. The area 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to explore the differences between the two and what their ratios are. If I compare the perimeter of the large to the small, I can simplify it down to 3 over 1. This is the exact same ratio as we did with the sides. The perimeter ratio and the side ratio are exactly the same. Let's look at the area ratio. The area ratio, the new shape has an area of 9 and the old shape had an area of 1. That ratio is 9 to 1. The similarity between the original ratio of the sides and the ratio of the area is that the area <coughs> the area ratio is equal to the square of the side ratio and now you can use ratios to figure out area perimeter <coughs> in each of the sides of a shape 